think we found it. I think we got it. <laughs> and uh, it's Velcroed. It says open. There's the cache. And I think there's a travel bug in there. Yep. It says cache. We're in southern British Columbia. We're going to tour the area and do some geocaching. Yeah, so come along with us. Our first stop is here in Osius, or Osoyuz. So we're going to stop at the visitor center and find out how to say this. Well, we learned how to say it. It's called Osius. You do it with a, a U. Osius, not Osoyuz. Not like the Soyuz spacecraft. So Osius. Osius. And it's a desert. The place is completely dry, except for precipitation in the wintertime with snow. In the summer, they get temperatures up to 50 degrees Celsius and no rain. Blue skies from June all the way to September. Amazing. Karen's having a slack water amber, and I'm having a holy boy lager. Cheers. And the chili looks really good. Let's dive in. This is the geocache we came after today. It's called the Spotted Lake. And there's an earth cache and a traditional here. And we just wanted to come and see this really unique spot and share it with you. Spotted Lake is located 10 kilometers west of Usuyus. It is richly concentrated with various minerals and contains deposits of magnesium sulfate, calcium, and sodium sulfates, eight other minerals, and lower amounts of silver and titanium. Throughout the summer, the water evaporates to reveal large colorful spots colored according to the mineral composition. Later in the season, remaining minerals in the lake harden to form natural walkways around and between the spots. Spotted Lake is revered as sacred to the First Nations people. The traditional is down there. We're just not prepared to get it today. So we're going to leave this one for a, a drier day. This next geocache is a traditional. And when I was investigating where to go for this little day trip, I uh, spotted this geocache purely by accident, it should be a first to find. At least that's what I've seen up till now. There's not a log on it. So let's see. And it's called Orchard Bound. Check this out. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's a big silver apple. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get into it because it says it's kind of tricky. Yeah, it's kind of slippery. Oh, no, I got it. And I see the log book and there's a few things and just a little bit of water, not too much. And it looks nice and pristine. That's it. It's a blank log sheet. First to find in BC on this little road trip that uh, we just decided to go on and take you with us. First to find. Darn it, that's cool. This geocache sits at the entrance to an historic site featuring Western Canada's only 
working water wheel powered flour mill. It was built in 1877 and produced whole wheat flour with a simple single grinder for the local settlers, First Nations, and the miners traveling through the area. Besides the mill, which was painstakingly restored, the site has numerous other historic buildings, a store, restaurant, and a dozen campsites. And there you go, the historic grist mill. And we met the cash owner who placed the cash to try to draw people in, which is pretty cool. And we enjoyed a very brief visit. We'll have to come back in the summer when the mill is actually operating. And it is still a working grist mill from 1877. Is he coming? Yeah. Come on, Blake. Taking his time. Nothing? Oh. Got it. Got it. London Westy found it. Had to check the logs and they said it blended in really well. Yeah, we almost gave up. We came up to the top. It's a great view. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and uh, we almost went away without the find, but we got it. It's right there. An excellent geocache. Mm -hmm. Well worth the favorite points. How many are there? 51 favorite 51. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us here on this day trip down to Usius. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yep, where will geocaching take, take you? you?